Hi, my name is Tangam Venkatesan. I am professor of medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Medical College of Wisconsin. And I'm Harrison Moore, a resident physician in the Department of Internal Medicine here at the Medical College of Wisconsin. And we're here to talk to you today about our article in the new gastroenterologist titled Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome, a GI Primer. This article provides a broad overview of cyclic vomiting syndrome, which is a disorder of brain-gut interaction. And in particular, I think you, readers will find the discussion of pharmacotherapy to be very useful. So Harrison, can you tell us a little bit about how to manage a patient with CVS? Absolutely. The management of cyclic vomiting syndrome is really a two-pronged approach. Firstly, a gastroenterologist must identify the various triggers and comorbidities that contribute to a patient's disease. And secondly, uh, he or she must provide appropriate pharmacotherapy. Now, in terms of pharmacotherapy selection, um, a gastroenterologist must assert, assess the severity of a patient's disease. As mild disease will typically be treated with a board of medication, such as on Dancitron, whereas patients with moderate to severe disease will have a board of medications in addition to prophylactic medications, uh, first line therapy of which is amitriptyline. Dr. McIntestin, can you tell us a little bit about how history of cannabis use would impact the management of this population? Yeah, so that's a great question, Harrison, and actually the role of cannabis in cyclic vomiting syndrome is very controversial. Uh, as everybody knows, there's this new entity called cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, and uh, while there is a lot of literature and case reports on this particular entity, there is no evidence to suggest that cannabis necessarily causes cyclic vomiting syndrome. There is certainly a statistical association with this condition, but I think we really need to learn a lot about it before we ascribe cannabis as a causative agent. Another pet peeve of mine is that uh, this curious hot shower bathing pattern that patients describe uh, is not pathing the morning of cannabis use. It's you, it is seen in almost 50% of patients with cyclic vomiting syndrome who don't use cannabis. So I think we have a lot to learn and uh, we have an exciting road ahead. Perfect. We hope you appreciate this discussion and it'll aid you in your treatment of this patient population.